Good evening, traders. This is Cloud Chartist with your daily Ichimoku wrap up on the grand markets and a couple other things, a few other things perhaps today. Um, so I'm starting off with the crude chart. Um, on the daily time frame, we can see that CL sold off a lot more today and uh, it's very bearish and there's nothing else to really say. Um, in order to look for support on this chart, you would need to go back to very long time ago, like the monthly chart or something like that. We're still oversold, getting more oversold, but that doesn't really mean a lot in this market. Um, so I'll let you know if I see some evidence of a of a bounce on on crude. Um, you'll be the first to know. All right, let's look at the ES. Yes, um, put in a, uh, as you all know, anyone that's watching this video knows we put out a very bearish day today with the ES. Uh, we did get an intraday bounce that looked pretty productive, but then we uh, took back a lot of it on the close. Um, still, we did close pretty far off the lows. Um, the low on the ES today was, uh, let's see, 18, sorry, um, Let's see, 1831. That's really hard to believe, isn't it? 1831. We put in a close to 1870, so like 40 points off the lows. That's significant. Um, and we did close above this prior area of uh, support at 1846, um, back from 2014. So keep that in mind. Um, but as far as uh, going forward, this chart is fully bearish um, besides the bottoming tail. And I can't uh, give you any other hope for uh, higher prices. Could easily go lower um, tomorrow. So we'll, we shall see. Let's look at some grains. Look at corn. Uh, we see that corn put in a, it was interesting, I was watching the grains a little bit intraday, Look, corn put in a nice bullish hammer after testing below the tank and sen, um, testing down to these prior, so 360, 363, 362, 364 level, this Chikao level. Um, you can see this, I'm um, over here on the left, you can see my cursor maybe moving around. Um, you can see Wherever there's a point on the Chikao, I like to consider it to be a level. It's a change of direction. Um, usually corresponds to a body, a close or an open, um, or a close typically on for Chikao levels coming off the bottom. So, um, so do take a peek at this 363.50 area as a potential bounce zone. And that's... Um, uh, but anyway, we did bounce from above that. We bounced off the lows at 365.50. And so what we have uh, going forward is if we go higher, we have resistance at 393. Um, that's like 12 points away from here, so that's a while. Um, and if we reverse and go lower, we will have support at the cloud for the Chikao and which is about confluent with the Tenkan Sen at 434.75. And we do have that that um, uh, window, gap window above the, the uh, Kijin Sen as well, you can see there. All right, let's look at wheat. Let's look at soybeans first, I guess. You probably can't hear, but my neighbors are playing some quite loud salsa type music in the background. But they're like two houses over, so I'm sure you can't hear. But um, I certainly can. <laughs> um, soybeans sold sold off significantly today. Um, made a new low at 8.55, and then put in a bounce, and uh, actually uh, quite um, bullish progress out of soybeans off the lows. Um, they closed like 20 points off the lows. Um, so this could be a reversal. It could signify that we actually found some real-life buyers down here. 
um, and we do have a gap from the prior day to fill so that's what I would be looking for first a, a gap fill to the close here at 890.25 then if we do go higher resistance at 915.50 above but overall this chart is bearish let's look at the wheat uh, We put in a hammer off candle also um, over the tank and send into this prior resistance area here. So if we do go higher um, and we get over this prior resistance, we can expect uh, potential to go all the way to the key gen send up here at 525.63. But overall, this chart is still quite bearish. So let's look at oil, bean oil. Wow, quite the crash. Um, for bean oil, I keep, you know, it's been bearish. Maybe this is the bottom with that huge spike and buyers coming in to uh, higher than the uh, more than 50% of the candle. That could be a bottom type pattern. We'll see um, if we get a higher high and a higher low. And if we do go higher, we can expect resistance at the tank and send at 28.10 or wherever it reopens. But overall, this chart is quite bearish and oversold for sure um, and uh, let's just look at gold for fun it just reopened just because I think it's an interesting place um, gold is trying to get through the cloud right here um, put in this big outside long-legged spinning top type doji today um, new candle is opening under the top of the cloud but if cloud can get, I mean, sorry, if uh, gold can get above the cloud, it could go higher. Otherwise, I think a pull back to 11.39, 10 cent here in the cloud um, is likely. Silver had a very not pleasant day. Silver came up, it's so classic. Um, silver um, tried to... Uh, Test the cloud, but was but failed and lost the Tenkin Sen and the Kijin Sen and closed s somewhat off the lows. Um, so after testing down around this um, prior support area, of 1450, 54. Let's see what the low was, 1455. Um, so if we do go higher for silver, we can expect a retest potentially of 15, but. Um, uh, so far, you know, overall this looks quite bearish. Um, and if we do go higher, we're going to need the Chico, this red line over here representing price shift, time shifted 26 periods into the past. We're going to need that to get above these candles. So, you know, if we do test the Kijin Sen, that could happen. Um, and uh, I think that's the, that's about it. Um, keep it nice and short for you guys. Um, Thank you for watching and uh, stay safe. I didn't trade very much today, I, which is kind of fortunate because I use Thinkorswim as a broker and um, I could have been caught in some bad situations given their uh, platform fail. Platform fail city. Not only did the, the platform fail, but the mobile platform failed as well. I've been able to get around uh, Thinkorswim's platform sluggishness that happens on occasion, especially with high volume, um, by using the mobile app to check quotes. And uh, this didn't happen. In fact, I couldn't access my accounts in any way, even through the website link that they gave me. So that was um, a pretty bad day for, for Thinkorswim. They need to get their act together. Uh, soon because I'm sure they lost a lot of customers today and they will lose more um, and uh, so that's how it goes <laughs> anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with uh, the uh, my next wrap up and maybe some I haven't been doing my daily crude videos because um, with new lows it's it's hard to uh, really get, finding support is just a guesstimate and I don't really like to guess so um, because the charts are just bare, 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 bare. All right. Goodbye. Have a good night. Get some rest.